What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if you try to turn on your PlayStation 5, but you're only getting a black screen and no image. This is known as the black screen of death. So today we're gonna to be talking about how you can fix it. Let's get right into this. So the PlayStation 5 black screen of death is very similar to the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, and also something known as the blue light of death, which also was on the PlayStation 4 and is also on the PlayStation 5. So if you notice that your PlayStation 5 has a solid blue light and or also has just a black screen, today we're going to be talking about what to do to fix that so you can actually play your PlayStation 5 once again. The first thing you're going to do is to check the power cable. First, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 5 and unplug the power cable. Now you're going to inspect the port and the cable for any damage. If there's no damage, plug it back in and make sure that the cable is not loose and that it is secure and try to turn on the system to see if it will now work. If it still won't work, if you do have a second cable, try using a different power cable because sometimes it is a power cable that is faulty and you just don't realize it. And whenever you do switch the cable, it hopefully will work for you. If not, move on to the next step. Next, check the HDMI cable and that's that is the biggest culprit for the black screen of death and the blue light of death is just a faulty HDMI cable which you were not aware of. You're going to unplug the HDMI cable and you're going to inspect the ports and the cable at both ends, not only on the PlayStation 5 but also where it connects into the TV. Now if your TV does have multiple HDMI ports, I do recommend trying to plug it into another one and trying to turn on the PS5 to see if that works. Sometimes the HDMI ports in TVs, sometimes for no known reason they just stop working. So hopefully if you have multiple HDMI ports in your TV, you can just switch to a different port and hopefully it will work for you. Or another option is if you do have a spare HDMI cable, try connecting that cable to the PlayStation 5 and using that one and try turning it on to see if it works. One thing that I've noticed is with a lot of people, the HDMI cable that came with the PlayStation 5 does at times become faulty and by looking at it, it might look fine, but once you take it off and you replace it with another one, usually it will work for you and hopefully that is the culprit for you either the HDMI port in your TV, or it might be a faulty HDMI cable, which is the biggest culprit for this problem. If that didn't work, the next thing to do is to enter safe mode and to try these steps. Now to enter safe mode on the PlayStation 5, just like the PlayStation 4, you're gonna turn off the PlayStation 5, you're gonna press and hold the power button for seven seconds, you are going to hear two beeps, and then you're going to let go of the power button. You're gonna connect to the PS5 controller and you're gonna press the PS button, and now you can navigate through safe mode. The first thing to try in safe mode is to select the first option and that is to reset the PS5. Now that is not a factory reset and you will not lose anything so don't be scared. All that's going to do is basically restart the console from within safe mode. If resetting it didn't work, this time you're going to go back into safe mode and this time you're going to select change video output and then you're going to select change resolution. You're going to go through the steps and hopefully that does fix the problem for you and now you can actually use your PlayStation. 5 and it does appear on the screen without the black screen of death. After you change the resolution, if it still doesn't work, you should try power cycling the PlayStation 5, which again is not scary. To do this, simply turn off the PlayStation 5, unplug all the cables. You're going to wait two to five minutes with it unplugged. Now you're going to press and hold the power button for seven seconds while it's still unplugged. You're going to wait another one to two minutes. Then you're going to plug all the cables back in and try to turn on the PlayStation 5 to see if that did fix the issue with the black screen of death. This is also another big thing that does work for a lot of people, so hopefully it did work for you. Now unfortunately, if you do all the safe mode options and everything else that I talked about in this video and none of that worked for you, then unfortunately the last thing to try is to factory reset your PlayStation 5, which will erase everything. Now hopefully you have everything saved to the cloud, so it's just a matter of signing back in once it is fixed and you'll get everything back, but hopefully you did back everything up prior to going and doing this. 
To do this, again, you're gonna enter safe mode and you're just gonna select option six. This will factory reset your PlayStation 5. Now, unfortunately, if you even factory reset your PlayStation 5 and it still is in the black screen of death, hopefully your PlayStation 5 is still under warranty and I recommend contacting Sony or where you bought it to see how their warranty situation is and hopefully you can get it repaired or a new one under warranty. But unfortunately, if you tried everything that I talked about in this video, and you still have the black screen of death or the blue light of death, unfortunately there's nothing more that I can share with you guys because there's a bigger problem with your PlayStation 5. Now most people don't get to this point. Most people with the HDMI ports, usually that does work, or one of the other options in safe mode usually does work for people. Most notably, the changing resolution for some reason works for a lot of people, but most of the time it is a faulty HDMI cable. So hopefully something I talked about in this video does work for you. If so, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Video, please take care. Peace.